Hi, my name is Majid Nawaz and I'm a broadcaster for Global's LBC. So today I spoke about uh, my personal journey, my story, how it relates to uh, a mistrust or a lack of trust in the establishment, uh, I use that word in quotations, uh, a lack of trust in media narratives, um, and how we as, as broadcasters and even people in the public who consume broadcast news and commentary, how we can do more, how we can be a bit more careful in not undermining uh, the trust in our established media. I think it's crucial. I think that uh, when you go and have different cultures and conversations with different cultures, and you're forced to question your fundamental assumptions um, that you've taken for granted all your life. And I think that can only do one of two things. It can either correct your wrong assumptions and lead you to adopting a stronger idea, which can only be good for the evolution of our, uh, let's say, for humanity. Or you, know, you, you can do another thing, which is um, if, you, if you don't ditch your weaker idea for a stronger one, uh, you can reinforce your own argument by having it challenged and realize why you believe what you believe and actually can strengthen your convictions. It can only be good to actually interact with people that you disagree. And I think in this day and age with a divided, kind of polarized social media uh, climate, I think actually more of that is needed. People need to be able to have civil conversations with people with whom we disagree. Now, uh, you would know, um, every Sunday, Nigel Farage hands over to me on, on LBC. Um, I would never support his politics, I would never vote Brexit, in fact I support the people's vote campaign, I want us to stay inside the European Union, but I've got to say that uh, when I talk to him every Sunday, I see him without fail every Sunday, he's very civil to me, he knows my views, um, he's very polite, and I think that's the key, it's to be able to have a conversation, to even disagree, but to do so in a civilised way, uh, and not try and hound each other out of public spaces or call each other names because we disagree. Travel broadens your mind in that way precisely because you, you, you encounter people who have habits and customs with what, what you disagree and you don't have to adopt those customs if you don't agree with them. You don't have to even um, uh, acknowledge that you, 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 that you agree with them when talking to the person. Uh, you can insist on your own right to have your own opinion while understanding where somebody else is coming from and only, only travel, uh, or I, should say, I shouldn't say only, but actually travel plays a large part in actually helping somebody develop that mindset and we've lost that skill these days because actually even though the world has become globalized my TED talk was about this even though the world's become globalized we've become atomized so we're, what we're doing is we're, we're because of social media we're connecting with people from across the world but only those people that confirm our own biases so it's globalized parochialism if you like or globalism where we're just connecting with people that we agree with in different countries and we think we're in the majority and everyone is under that false assumption and as a result it's becoming quite intolerant when they are faced with something they disagree with uh, it, it shocks their system um, when actually there's lots of people like that as well and there's lots of people like you um, and we just need to be talking across those divides